is going to be another New York City guide. And if you didn't see my last video about this, we filmed in Dumbo, Brooklyn, so be sure to check that out. But as you can tell, we are in the Soho this time, and Patrick and I spend a lot of time in Soho because as you will see, shopping is a huge part of it. So we narrowed down some of our favorite spots. It's hard to narrow it down because there's so many, um, but these are ones that I definitely think you should visit if you are coming here and want to go to Soho. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want more of this series. And yeah, let's get started. Soho is a neighborhood in Manhattan filled with great shopping, awesome art galleries, and pretty unique buildings. You'll find Soho in southern Manhattan below Greenwich Village. And since Soho stands for south of Houston Street, you will find the heart of this neighborhood between Houston Street and Canal Street. What's pretty cool about this place is it's one of the few surviving cast iron districts, meaning a lot of the buildings were built out of cast iron. It has a super unique look to it, so I definitely stop by if you're in town. It's a must see. But now Patrick and I are going to show you some of our favorite spots here. Starting off with for something to do, and that's definitely shopping. On Broadway, you're gonna find a lot of the shops that you're familiar with and that you'd wanna go to. But what's really cool about Soho is all these shops are kinda lined up and down this one street, or at least the main ones are. Um, so it makes it super convenient, especially if you're traveling here and unfamiliar with the area. They're all kinda lined up and down, so it makes it really easy to do some shopping, hang out with friends and family, and just go to a bunch of different stores. They have so many here. Some of my favorites are Sephora, Topshop, Reformation, H H&M, Forever 21, Urban Outfitters, All Saints, the list goes on. There are just so many here. And what's cool is if you go on the off streets, um, so on like Mercer or Prince Street, you'll find some of the little bit more of a high-end shops. So some of my favorite are like Paige Denim, Free People. So they literally have everything here. But also a pro tip for you guys is finding somewhere to use the restroom in Soho unless you go out to eat. There isn't any except for on Bloomingdale's on the second floor. For brunch, you have to go to Jack's Wife Frida. Not only is it one of our favorites, but it's a lot of people's favorites. When I first moved here, this is something that a lot of people told me to go to when I was in Soho. And it's pretty amazing. I have to say it lives up to its reputation. Super good. The food is amazing. Lots of different options and very unique options too, which I love. A little tip for you though, go on a weekday. we That's the only time we usually go there because the weekends fill up so quickly. But if a sit down is not your thing and you want to just keep it moving, something for a quick bite is called the smile to go. What's really awesome about this is it, you can just grab and go. It's like a little cafe but they have a lot of different foods and we've gone to the actual smile restaurant and it's really good. We've tried this and love it. It's just really convenient and easy just to grab something. You guys know me and my love for Instagram, so I always gotta show you guys a good photo opportunity. So this is definitely on the side street. So when you're on Broadway, head over, go down on like Prince, Howard, Mercer. All of this is over here is where you're gonna see all of those cast iron buildings really prominently because it's not as busy as Broadway. It makes for really good cute photos. You can take some bunch of different outfit posts, whatever your little heart desires, you can do it here. Um, I just think it's really cool and unique. And a lot of the times I post photos on here, a lot of you guys are like, oh my God, I love it. So a little tip for you, go on the side streets, they're less busy and look really pretty. For a healthy meal, one of our favorites is called Chalk Point Kitchen. It's open for brunch, lunch, and dinner, and this place is just so good. The food is amazing, and inside it's just really, really cute. It has this kind of like home style feel to it. It's super cozy. They have Polaroids all over the place. Um, but I, what I did want to mention about this place, it has a huge menu. So if you're vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, they have a lot of options for all of you, which is why I really wanted to include this. Um, super big menu, really good. I think my favorite is definitely the Brussels sprouts they flavor them so well and then the radish toast is really really good um, but I definitely wanted to tell you guys about this place because it has a lot of options for everybody and if you are into or if you're of age or like a good cocktail they make amazing ones here and later at night they have a downstairs that's really fun to go grab a drink at so I definitely wanted to mention that as well 
for the artistic, like I mentioned in the beginning, Soho is filled with art galleries. It's very prominent here. I know I mentioned a lot of shopping, but they do have a lot of great art galleries. Our favorite is the Ward Nass Gallery, and you're probably thinking you have a favorite art gallery, but I think it's our favorite because we're a little biased because Patrick actually has a few of his photos hanging in here. So we love stopping by and just checking out the new work because we know a few other people in here that he's met, and it's just really fun. So if you want to stop by and see his stuff, you can go there. Now I can't go a whole video without telling you where to get a sweet treat, so I have two. The first stop is Lotteria. You might have heard of this place. It's kind of like a famous sweet treat place specifically for their macaroons. They have really, really good ones here, but it's really cool to kind of come here and just take a break if you've been shopping all day, have some tea and macaroons. My favorite is pistachio. Do you have a favorite? I don't know, I think they're all amazing, but that's my favorite. <laughs> But if that's not your thing, you can go over to Georgetown Cupcake for a cupcake. Um, if you're into TLC or the Food Network or anything like that, this place has been all over that. Um, so me and me being a foodie, I have to go check it out. But they really do have good cupcakes. My favorite, in case you're curious, is Red Velvet. Do you have a favorite cupcake? Because that's always been my favorite. And lastly, where to stay. If you're visiting New York and you're looking for a place to stay, specifically in Soho, one of my recommendations would be Nomo Soho. It's freaking cute, but I've also had a lot of friends that have stayed here and the rooms are great, they're amazing, they're really pretty, the decoration is awesome, as you can see. Um, but it's a New York room, the rooms aren't like crazy big or anything, but in specific why I like this place is it's located right in the center of Soho, like it's a block away from Broadway, it's perfect if you're just kind of traveling here and you don't really know where to go. Um, but also, if you're not staying here and have another place to stay just come here anyways because of this really cool domed green wall that they have and take a photo because I love it but that's my video for today I really hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos and I will see you guys next week bye